fuck going on? What's up? Can I have that juice? Uh, no, I kind of need that. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, One Shooter, and we are here today talking about how to achieve the teleporting effect, as you just seen in the clip before. So we'll hop over into After Effects and see how that's done. All right, so here we are in After Effects, and here's our first piece of footage. It's um obviously us going through the motions. We shot it all in one take. We did my reaction to Anthony jumping in. I ran off frame, he went in, did his jump in, ran off frame. I ran to go grab the uh, leaf blower to get more of a practical effect. <laughs> there it is. The chaos. Okay, cool. So after you cut all that up, get your pieces in order. This is what it looks like for me. So I have my clean plate. I got a clean plate without the um, Without the leaf blower, here's the windy BG for background, windy background. Obviously that's when I um, hit the leaf blower, as you can see, boom. You have the footage of me just standing there and then Anthony's roto. So when you split all those up, you know, line them up, boom. I, I rotoed and boom, as you can see, eh, it's all right, but you can't even tell when, it, you know, get everything going. So, Boom, first step. Well, first step was to roto Anthony because as you can see, that's what it looked like without the roto. I'm here and then boom, he just takes over. But once we roto him, there it is. And that's just kind of like the plain effect right there. You know, boom, there you have it. All right, so now we have to kind of sweeten this thing up a little bit. Okay, boom. So first, what you want to do is go to your actor's layer and just do a big mask around him. Boom. Where you know things aren't going to be flying around because the point of this is so we can see our windy background layer. So as you can see, boom, we make that mask. Make sure your mask is on add. After you make that mask, you should be able to see your windy background. Obviously there I am with the uh, blow dryer, but we'll fix that right now. So after you make your mask there, depending on your shot, you may have to animate the mask, but for me, I'm not stepping out of the mask at all, so I'm good. All right, so after you've made that mask around yourself or your talent, come down to your windy background layer, boom. As you can see, I'm right there, but we'll figure that out right now. Grab your pen tool. Make a big mask around that. Boom. Set that to subtract. And now you should have your windy background. Boom. Without that there. That's magic. Now we'll add Anthony back in. All right. There he is. So now we have to sweeten up the um, teleportation the main point of this effect. All right, so you grab your roto layer right here. First, what I want to do is animate the scale of it. So we don't want to see him at first, obviously. We want him to pop into the frame. So toggle the stopwatch, add a keyframe, and set that first keyframe to zero. Go over maybe three, four frames. Set it back to 100. Boom, and now you can see what that's doing. I guess depending on what you're going for, that can work if you just add a little motion blur, but yeah. So we have that there. Now, what I like to do is add the puppet tool effect. So here we are, we'll just put some points down his body. Go back one frame, distort it. Now look kind of crazy, but Go back another frame, distort it even more. You, and honestly, you can do whatever you want with this. You can make them turn into a circle, the letter M, whatever you want, you know? Go back one more frame, make sure you get the point, and then he's gone. 
Now, when you play it back, you should pop out in some weird, crazy way. It'll look better when you put motion blur on it, but yeah, that's it for right there. All right, so now I'm gonna go to Ants Roto. We'll duplicate this and name this Displacement Map. With this layer here, we'll put on Turbulent. Turbulent Displacement. There, okay. So we'll go to this layer. We'll solo him so we can really see what we're doing here. So what I'm gonna do is increase the complexity a bit, lower the size, and up the amount until you get something that you like. You know, that looks like he's, I don't know, disintegrating away, kinda. Yeah, so we'll go there. Boom, you see what it's doing with this. So we'll uncheck that. Pre-compose this. Um, we'll just leave that all the same. Boom, so now we have our pre-composed layer here. You can see what it's doing. But now it's just staying on Anthony. So, so what we'll do now is add an adjustment layer. Call this displacement. We'll add our displacement map onto there. I'll just trim this. So now up here in your displacement map effect, you want to choose your displacement map layer. And for your source, put the effects and mass. And now, you see that and is there, but when you start shifting this, you notice you start getting displacement. So you can do however you please with that. Sorry for the turbulent, but I missed something. For the turbulent displacement, after you make your adjustments, I alt click the stopwatch, type time times 600. Go with that. Well, that just gives the uh, turbulent displacement a bit of a some evolution. You know, when it comes in, it'll move some. So now I will hit the opacity stopwatch, go down three, four, five frames, and just lower that all the way. Same thing for this displacement map. Press T to bring up the opacity stopwatch. We'll put this keyframe at zero, go back four frames, five frames, go to 100. Looks like we've got a little bit of um, something up here, so we'll go for the vertical, bring that back up. Just try not to displace it too much, you know. So, bring that there. Boom. There's that. Would you look at that? So now if we add some motion blur to the roto layer, it may slow my computer down some, but hey. So yeah, you guys can tweak this whichever way you please. Add a little more onto it, maybe add some smoke or more displacement, but as you can see, effect gets it done. For the sake of this tutorial, you know, something quick. Yeah, I think I like that. Yeah, from there, just export this. Go back to Premiere or whatever your editing software is and uh, yeah, go from there. Till next time, everybody.